and gate. Press Change Plus till desired waveform is displayed, then press OK. F Wave Square. Once again, 15 different waveforms from which to choose. Generally, you will use the same waveform you selected in option Gate and C Wave. Press Change Plus till desired waveform is displayed, then press OK. Carrier 1 equals 44660. Minimum 1 to 100,000 Hz, 1 MHz, 1.25 MHz, 1.67 MHz. To utilize the MHz, you must be using the square wave. Press Change Plus Change Minus until the carrier is displayed in Hertz and press OK. Frequency 1 equals, in this program, the very first one is 10,000. You will see the list of frequencies that are stored in the BCX for this pre-stored program I have selected. Press OK. You will see more frequencies, yes. Press OK. This is the second frequency from the program I have selected, number 35. You will see a sequential numbered list of frequencies alternating with more frequencies, yes. Continue pressing OK. Frequency 6 equals 1. This is not a frequency from the pre-stored program. The 1 is only a placeholder. This option allows you to enter extra frequencies in addition to the ones stored in the program you have selected. If you do not want to add any additional frequencies, press back and you will see the last frequency from the program you have selected. Press OK. You will see more frequencies, yes. Press Change Plus to make the screen read more frequencies, no. And press OK. Plug electrodes in tubes. Press OK. And then press Start Now. Part 5. Creating a Custom Program. In this section, you will learn how to enter, name, and save a custom program. First, compile a list of frequencies. This list can be derived from many different sources, including the Internet. To begin, press Power On Off. Press Change Plus two times and you will see Create Edit Program. Press OK. Custom Program 1 and its abbreviation. Press Change Plus to scroll through the custom programs until Empty is displayed on the screen. Press OK. You will see Sequence Program. What follows are the 13 options from the default mode. For ease of instruction, I will not make any changes within the defaults. Press OK. Electrodes and ray tubes, the accessories, press OK. Run minutes 3, 3 minutes per frequency, press OK. Press OK repeatedly until frequency 1 equals 1 is displayed. The 1 is only a placeholder. At this point, you will enter your first frequency. Press Change Plus repeatedly until the first digit 
from your first frequency is displayed. Press next to advance to the next digit and change plus next to advance change plus to enter and next to advance continue pressing next and change plus until all digits from the first frequency on your list has been entered then press OK decimal is displayed at the end of your first frequency. This does not alter its value in any way. Press OK. More frequencies, yes. Press OK. Frequency 2. The 1 is only a placeholder. Press Change Plus until the first digit from your frequency is displayed. Press next to advance and change plus, next and change plus. Press OK. There's the decimal. Press OK. More frequencies, yes. Press OK. Frequency 3, the third frequency with the placeholder. Press Change Plus and Next. When your frequency is displayed on the screen, press OK. There's the decimal. Press OK. More frequencies, yes. We have no more frequencies for this demonstration. Press Change Plus to make the screen read more frequencies no. Then press OK. Save Program Yes. Press OK. CP or Custom Program 46 and a blinking cursor. Press Change Plus as you scroll through the alphabet to name your program and press next to advance to the next letter change plus to scroll and next and next when you have entered the name of your program press OK Run Program Yes. Press OK. Plug electrodes and tubes if you haven't done so. Press OK. And press Start Now. Part 6. Chaining. Chaining is a feature that allows you to play multiple programs back to back without stopping. Some people chain several programs and run them overnight. You can choose to create a chain program from pre-stored programs, custom programs, or both. I will demonstrate the steps needed to create a chain program from the bank of pre-stored programs, followed by a selection from the custom programs. For this chain program, I will once again select pre-stored program number 35, followed by custom program number 9. To begin, press power on off. You will see run pre-stored program. Press change plus twice. You will see create edit program. Press OK. CP or custom program 1. Press change plus until you see CP and empty. Press OK. 
you will see Sequence Program, press Change Plus twice, and you will see Chain Program. Press OK. You will see Program 1 pre-stored. This will give you access to select the first program to chain from the pre-stored programs. Press OK. Pre-stored Program 1. Press Change Plus until you find the first pre-stored program to chain. I have selected number 35. Press OK. Another program, yes. Press OK. Program 2, pre-stored. You can choose from the pre-stored programs to add to your chaining or press Change Plus. Program 2, Custom. This will give you access to select the second program to chain from the custom programs. Press OK. Custom Program 1 and its abbreviation. Press Change Plus to scroll through the custom programs to find the second program for chaining. I have selected custom program number 9. Press OK. Another program, yes. Continue adding programs from either the pre-stored or custom program list by repeating these steps. When you are finished, press Change Plus to make the screen read Another Program No. Then press OK. Save Program Yes. Press OK. CP or Custom Program number 47 and CH for chaining and the underscore is blinking. Press Change Plus, Change Minus to name the chain program. And next to advance to the next letter, Change Plus for the next letter. Next to advance, and Change Plus for the next letter. And next, Change Plus. Once the name of your chain program is displayed on the screen, press OK. Run program, yes. Press OK. Electrodes and ray tubes, the accessories you'll be using, press OK. Use program times. Press OK. Plug electrodes and tubes if you haven't done so, then press OK. Press Start Now. Part 7 Creating a Sweep Program. Sweep is a special type of programming in which the BCX runs all the frequencies between two determined limits. You will choose the low and the high frequency to create a frequency range in which the ultra sweeps. You will also choose the size of the step and the direction of the sweep. To begin, press power on off. You will see run pre-stored program. Press change plus two times and you will see Create Edit Program. Press OK. Custom Program 1. Press Change Plus until you see Custom Program empty. Press OK. You will see Sequence Program. Press Change Plus. You will see Sweep Program. Press OK. 
electrodes and ray tubes. The accessory of choice to run a sweep program is external. Press Change Plus till desired accessories of choice are displayed, then press OK. Run Minutes 3. When most of the parameters for this sweep program have been entered, the BCX will calculate the required length of time to run the sweep program. In an effort to keep the software complexities to a minimum, it will be necessary for you to revisit this step to enter the required time. For now, press OK. Duty cycle equals 90, press OK. Gate square pulse width, press change plus to make screen read square. Then press OK. Gate hertz 56.2, press OK. External intensity equals 100. Run all tube accessories at 100% intensity, press OK. Soft start yes. Press Change Plus to make screen read soft start no, then press OK. Auto shut off yes. Press Change Plus to make screen read auto shut off no, then press OK. Carrier yes. Press OK. C Wave Square Plus. Press Change Plus until screen reads square. Then press OK. F wave square plus. Press change plus until screen reads square. Then press OK. Sweep carrier no. Press OK. Sweep frequency no. Press change plus 